What's up you guys, it's Hush Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a book in iPhoto 2011 or 2009. So before you do anything, obviously what you need to do is open the application. Now to open the application, you can have it here in your little dock on the Mac and this is only for Mac. Um, if you see this um, little logo right here, you just click it. Or if you don't have it in your dock, you just type in. You go to the spotlight, you type in iPhoto, and then it should show. And it should show up. And now you just wait for it to load. Now after it loads, you simply want to go to Photos. And after you click Photos, you want to go to Create down here in the bottom right hand corner. And after you click Create, there are multiple things you can do. You can um, do Album, Book, Card, Calendar, or Slideshow. But right now we're going to do Book. Now it's going to load for a little bit. Alright, so once you do that, you have three choices. You can do hardcover, you can do soft co cover, or you can do wirebound. Um, for this demonstration or tutorial, um, I'm just going to do wirebound. Now when you do wirebound, you have two choices of large or medium. Medium, if you click medium, it shows all the specs down here in the um, bottom left-hand corner. And the size is 8 by 6 inches. It's, it costs $10. And it's fifty cents for each extra page, but um, when you see the price is ten dollars, that means it's the book with twenty pages, I believe. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna do large, which is eleven by eight and a half. It's twenty dollars, um, not counting the extra pages and all that. So once you do that, you wanna just click create right here. And now it's going to ask you, you've selected a large number of photos, add enough pages to fill the photos, or you can just do create an empty book so that you just have 20 pages, you don't have like 100 pages. I'm just going to create an empty book for this demonstration. Alrighty, it's loading. I do have a I do have a bunch of other stuff downloading in the background. So if you're wondering why my MacBook is slow today, it's because of that. Now we have the little ra rainbow wheel. Okay, so after you click create and you have all um and you selected everything you want, the color or things as that, um you see you have a whole layout of your book. This is the cover. It says it right when you hover over it. And then this is this is page one, starting at the next flap of the page, because this is the back of the cover right here. This is page one, two, three, four, etc. So let's say you want to just start from the cover. You just double click it and then it'll bring it up um, like this. And to zoom in, um, you just down here, you just um, click and drag to however you want it. And let's say you want to rename this. Instead of photos, you want to do, I don't know, Happy Mother's Day since Mother's Day just happened. Happy Mother's Day. Um, subtitle. I love you, Mom. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do. Alright, so you see that there's a, sh a ship or whatever in the background. Now, what you want to do, obviously, is add a different picture. To add a different picture, you just simply click Design. Um, I mean, sorry, you click Photos. Then you scroll down to the photo you want. Now you're probably going to do a picture of you and your mom. So I'm going to do this picture. And once you find your picture, you double click it. Doom, doom, doom. Or you click and drag, sorry. And once you click and drag it, you can see it comes up like that. Now, it looks a little weird because there's this stalker right here who's looking at us. It's, um, so let's say you want to just um, crop it so he's out of the picture. You want, um, let's zoom out. And once you hover, hover over it, you see this right here. This, And you just click and drag to how you want to zoom in. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And there, that's your cover of the page. And so let's go to design, and I want to change the background of it. Um, I like this color right here, it's a nice tone. And so now what you want to do is, let's go to the next page. Now you can go to all pages and select which page you want. 
but we're just going to click on page one. And now we're going to change this to, um, I love you, mom. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is a token of my gratitude. It's whatever you want. It sounds really corny. Um, ta -ta -ta. Did I spell this right? Yes, I did. Okay. So after you do that, you can insert anything in this bottom paragraph. Uh, maybe a poem. Um, it's whatever, you, whatever you want. And once, if you want to edit the text, you simply go to Design, and then it'll bring up all the fonts. And you just click whatever font you want. Let's say you want this font, and you want it to be italic and to be in italic, and you want the size to be 48. Now this is where you center it. This is for it to be um, how it's placed inside of the paragraph box or the text box. And this little button right here is for columns. Now you can have one, two, or three columns. And this changes the line spacing, of the letter spacing, and and you can always revert to default if you accidentally mess up. Now, let's change the background. You can change the background to a picture if you want a picture, or you can change it to um, different colors. But for this, I'm just going to do a picture. So you really get the um, full effect of it. I have a lot of random pictures here because of the iPod. Um, that's the picture of me. Keep forgetting. You have to try. To, yeah. Um. Drag and drop it. Remember to drag and drop. Don't double click. And so now, um, this changes the occupacity. If you want it to just be out there, no change. Then you just bring it all the way to the right. Now, if you want to make it lighter, then you would bring it, um, to the left a little bit. And now I'm going to zoom in. I think that looks cool. I think I look like a G. Now there's always a there's that lens glare, but I could I could just edit it in Photoshop or something. I do not want you to I do not want you to open that. All right, here we are. And so now you see this is my uh, cover page, not the cover page, but this is the first page. And all I have is I love you, mom. And I have the second paragraph. Um, you just write whatever you want to write. Now, if you want to go to page two, you simply click this arrow right here, and you go to page two. Once you do one page, it's just gonna, it's just gonna, you're just gonna get the hang of it. And um, so now let's just start adding photos. So just randomly click, drag, drop, click, drag, drop. Um, any photos you want. And um, I know you're thinking, wow, this is gonna, this is gonna really get. Um, like nerve wracking there's so many photos you have to do um, but if you don't want to do all that then you can just click auto flow and auto flow will place all of your unplaced photos at the end of your book additional pages will be added to accommodate the photos and so what that, what that is saying is that this um, book always, um, comes preloaded with 20, 20 pages and all the photos I have is like a thousand or something it's obviously going to take up more pages so let's just click auto flow and this is going to take some time. I guess not. And now you go back, and it just filled up every photo using this. And so now, once you see that, once you have an aerial view of all the photos, there is 100 pages. So that can get very costly. About, I think it's around $80. And so um, you can always add text to the pages as well. But let's change the theme. And now it's saying. You may change the text, but that's all right. Click continue. To change the theme, you simply um, you get this little display right here that Apple created. Let's say you want a different theme. And it displays the photos and how they'll look down here. I'm digging this blue one right here. Let's click apply. You can always change the colors right here, but I like the different colors. And it is loading. <laughs> okay, so now that it's done loading, you double click on a foot on a page and you see that you're able to scroll through all these pages. 
without any hassle. And it looks great. You see, you could have you just created a whole book, a whole hundred page book for your parents or whatever, in just less than like five minutes. So after you finish it, you did all the tweaks, let's just do buy a book. And it, if you just leave the text to default, it'll tell you so you don't accidentally um, uh, mis misdo the text. And it comes with this little envelope. Yep, the order total is $80. You can do standard shipping or express shipping. I would do express. You just click checkout. And now you just enter your password. And after you enter your password, you just click place order and that'll be it. That's all. And so in this tutorial, I just told you how to create a whole book of 100 pages in less than five minutes. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and rate my videos. And make sure to comment so I know what to do in my future videos. All right, bye. Peace.